How did y'all get in my house? I'm just joking. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Today we are finally revealing my closet, my closet office. Um, if you are new here, my name is Shadi Abdullahad. Um, my channel is all about fashion, luxury, and lifestyle. So if any of those topics interest you, then you might want to subscribe for good vibes. Tell you how many times I've shot this video, um, how many times I've updated things in this closet office. Like it's, it's mind blowing. So, without further ado. Let's get into the video. So this cloth is, to me, is like my safe haven. Um, it's just like my personal space. I do a lot of things in here. Like this is where I come in, I play dress up. Um, I do my styling videos. I do my unboxing videos in this room. Um, I also do Falasha Day shipping. And I do all of the shipping. I do all of the packaging. Like I do all of that. And I do it in this cloth is. I just wanted to create a space where I could come and just, you know, let my hair down, have my own little girly time. Like when we, when I go on dates with my husband, like this is where I come in. I do my little make, I, well, I don't do my makeup, you know, pick my outfits. Now I can see everything that I have. Like the fact that I can see all of my shoes, all of my bags, all of my jewelry. When I had everything boxed up, I literally forgot that I had some shoes. It's so much better for me. And everything is so organized so it's just it's like a stress reliever every part of this cloth is has like a different station over here is like my rack my clothing rack um as you can see like i have my little hat collection here along the wall there i got all my bags up here and like in between the shelves and then my shoes like my sneakers and heels like my, like my i have my little bar I have um, my little shipping station for Falasha Day. Of course, my desk is where I sometimes edit videos because I also edit videos on my phone. Um, I also have like a little space for like when I get uh, packages or like my Falasha Day shirts are in that corner. So this corner over here to the right is pretty much like all Falasha Day. And then you got the center space, which is behind me. Um, is where I keep my bags and my shoes, my jewelry, my sunglasses. And this system, this is the um, pack system. I got that from Ikea. Um, and you can have like doors on yours, but I left mine open just because um, this is not as big of a space, um, but it's just big enough for me to have, you know, this size of a pack system. But I left it open so I can have easy access and just grab and go. You have the option of going online and building it there, but I'm not so tech savvy. So um, my little spoiled ass went into Ikea and had someone do it in front of me on the computer. Um, they also have like little fake, like little mock buildups around the closet area to where you can kind of go to each one and see what you like and add it to your closet. Um, the good thing about this pack system, you can add or take away. You can also uh, pack it up whenever you're moving. So like this is my space right now. It's pretty, it's it's a good space, but I'm definitely going to be adding on. So whenever we move into a bigger house, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this with me and I'm gonna add on maybe like another unit or so, another two units or so. First, you want to measure your wall. 
measure your wall measure the height and the width of your wall before you go and get a pack system because i i did that uh luckily it wasn't <laughs> Luckily, it didn't get shipped to my house yet or anything like that because I had to go back up there because my ceilings are not as high. So I had to take a, a chunk a chunk of it down because otherwise my bags like let me, let me. I had to ch take um, I had to take a shelf out because otherwise my bags would not be able to fit at the top. Extra room in our house and I was just like, oh, I want to turn this into um, like my closet. Sorry in the camera so i wanted to turn this room into my closet um and i just started getting I, st I went to pinterest and i started getting a lot of ideas from there so if before you go to ikea do your research look online go on ikea's website and then also go on um pinterest like look all you got to do is type in ikea pack system and they will give you so many options and you can just like kind of pick and choose what you want from each closet um to go in yours I chose not to put my clothes in this pack system because I shop too much <laughs> and I would definitely grow outgrow these little bitty sections like this right here. This not enough for me. Okay. This, I can't, I can't put clothes just here. Like there's some people that are cool with having three and four sections of, of clothes hanging with jeans folded up. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I cannot do that. Um, I have way too many clothes. I also still am shopping. So there's no way that I can fit all my clothes in a pack system. So I have a closet on the other side of this camera and I also have a closet that I share with my husband, okay? So I have two closets, let's be clear. I actually went to the container store first um, before I went to Ikea. They wanted to charge me $5,000 for this, for this buildup right here behind me. The container store, I'll repeat it. The container store wanted to charge me $5,000 for this buildup behind me. I went to Ikea. I don't know if you can see. I went to Ikea. And when was this? This was 2019. This was just last year. I paid $727. And then I think, um, so, oh, when I first started it, when I first started out, it was like $687. And then I added a couple things. And then I think ultimately I paid no more than $1,000. And that's really good. And it's also just a peace of mind for you when you can see all of your stuff. I'll say that as many times as I need to. So this is what the office looked like before. And this is me at Ikea grabbing all the things. <laughs> oh, look at the brothers. Yeah, he's broke too. <gasps> what broke? A lot of late nights and early mornings on this pack system. Woo. Thing right here. Like at first, I did not like this and I honestly didn't even know why. I, like I was like, why the hell did I get this? And then I remembered, I'm like, oh, when I pick out outfits. Like, I have two small wardrobe frames on the side and then I have a big one in the middle. Off of my stand, I'm gonna show you where my, uh, what, what I meant by I have clothes in my closet. So I'm gonna show you that real quick and then I'll show you like the details of my, um, my pack this system. This is my closet. And I'm going to pull that open. And it has a light. So if you watched my um, closet organization video, or if you haven't, you might want to go see that. Because I took all of my jeans that were hanging in my other closet and I folded them. Look how many white, look how many white pair of jeans I got. Oh my gosh, I'm like, one, two, three, four. Five. I have five pair of white jeans. Why? That makes no sense. Anyway, so all of my jeans are here. All of my clothes are hanging up. So basically, I just put all of the long, like long cardigans, my dresses, any sweaters, uh, pants, anything that's really long, I just put it in this closet. And like all of my, um, like my skirts, um, shorts, uh, tops that are not super long are in the other closet. And then up here, these are like my two accessory boxes. I got those from Home Goods. They were only like seven or eight dollars. Those are extra bags. I got some hats up there. Those are like two pair of shoes and that's my um, my MacBook box or whatever. Um, I have my, my Dior tote uh, bag down here because it won't fit up there, obviously. And so as you can see, like these shelves are, uh, you don't movable. have one already. 
Um, Ikea sells like these little kits, these little toolboxes. I think for like no more than $20, you need to get you one. And you need to get you like a cute little drill. You can probably get that from Walmart or something. But you can easily drill these out and move them down or up if you want to. They easily, they come out easy and they go in easy. Bags that are in the back that you can't really see. Like I have them on top of a... Um, it's like a little plastic holder or something. I can't remember what it's called, but I got it from the container store. Um, I'll try to look it up and see um, if I can link it at the bottom of the video. But they definitely do come in handy because she's blocking her. She's blocking the view, honey. But now you see how I can see her because she's on top of that little uh, plastic. Uh, I don't know what it's called. A purse holder. I'm going to call it a purse holder. <laughs> a purse holder. That's what I'm going to call it. I've kept these boots here since last summer like I've never moved them and I'm happy that I haven't because now fall going on winter and I don't have to move them anymore they're gonna stay right where they are I'm gonna push these on back look at that Ooh, look how it closes honey we're just gonna start from the bottom and then go up so these are my clutches and you know a couple bags here and this is the glass drawer, so I can see everything. I'm gonna push that back. There we go. This is my accessories. So I got my Gucci belt, my wallets here. I got my Fendi, um, Fendi strap. And these are only like, these pretty much are just like space fillers for me because when I get another wallet, it'll go here or another wallet, it'll go there. And then as you can see, I have my jewelry here. So those are like my studs, my big earrings. These are like my statement earrings, rings. You, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen I posted these and I already said where they were from. I'm not going to repeat it. You should be watching. Uh, actually, no, I said where these were from on another vlog, I believe. Yeah, I did. This drawer has basically all of my sunglasses um my necklace thick chains and my cartier honey cartier um so this is like my versace as you can see it's a versace necklace versace bracelet this right here is vintage i got this from a thrift store and it's so good like I, i've only worn this maybe like three times but i'm keeping this there this is gonna last me for a long time last uh top just so i can see everything like i love the fact that i can see all of my sunglasses and my jewelry and then um got my perfume at the top so this is basically like my go-to scents right now these are the ones that i use the most so those are like on display um those flowers my baby got me so nice little decoration both of these are from hobby lobby and they have like a rubber uh bottom so that they don't slide i have to tell y'all so these little inserts do not come with the uh pull out tray like these, you have to buy them separately. And I think they're only like $9. Like you see how I can pull this out? Those you have to buy separately. Um, this right here, you also have to buy separately. I did not like the fact that I put this on here, but now I'm actually grateful for it because like you can pull it out, right? I usually put like my earrings on here. Look at my little... <laughs> So like I put my earrings on here, um, I put my jewelry on right here, I check my little last, do my last little, you know, check my last looks right here. And then on the back side, so on the back side, voila, surprise, you can put your necklaces here. So I do love the fact that this is here and you can put any, you can put like some, some more stuff in here, whatever you want, but it just has like a cute little compartment here as well. But I think this is so cool. Like, I love the fact that I have this Other mirror now. Side. I don't know if you can tell, but like, I kind of did it to where my nude lighter color purses are over here as well as my shoes. And over there I have like my darker colors on that side. So I was kind of trying to co color coordinate, you know? Um, so none of these pull out. These are just my shelves. This is the last one. The last uh, shelf has a pull out tray. So or a pull out shelf. I don't know which one it is. But um, I'm not about to get on my knees and grab shoes from all the way in the back. So that is why I chose to do just the last one um, for a pull out tray. I'm gonna 
go through every single bag that's on this shelf. Um, just because I just feel like that's unnecessary. You should kind of know what these bags are. If you don't, then I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but I will say this. These two bags right here are dupes of the Bottega um, pouch bag. Um, I got them for like $100 each. I would tell you where I got them from. But it's from a company that I honestly do not think deal with black people. So I'm probably I'm not going to purchase from them anymore. Um, and then I did add like, you know, some cute little decoration. These books right here, I got those from Home Goods. So each one of those books were like maybe eight to nine dollars. And then I also got this book from Home Goods. And they're really cute. Like they have some cute pictures inside. Out of those shirts. So if you don't know about those shirts, they are Protect Black Women t-shirts. They are available. I will link them at the bottom of this video. This I definitely use a lot. You can get this from Walmart. I have, cause honey, I have to get bags from up here. I have to get things out of that closet at the top. I have two more. These are the other uh, boxes that I, I got these from Home Goods, and I just use these for like accessories. Like so, in here I have like my little headbands, um, like cute little scarves. For it's really good to have stuff like this just so you can keep it tucked away and you don't just have stuff thrown all over the place. So, it to me is like a great organizer this is basically like on this back wall this is like the falashade area over here this is where i play around with my fabric uh, i come up with new ideas for, for dresses and this is my shipping station um i got this this fake plant this faux plant and the scissors from target um i got this from ikea i think it was like 49 or 79 dollars and um it has a drawer so I have my Falashade pack, my Falashade Miller bags, my thank you cards. I got more um, printer ink and I got my little um, Falashade stickers. And those are my business cards. Is my desk. Mm, a lot of this stuff I got from Target. Um, I got this candle from Home Goods. Just like little stuff that you can get from different places. Oh, and I got this from Home Goods too. I also got this. So this is basically holding up my MacBook. I got this from Target and this is supposed to be like a dessert tray, but I decided to use it for my MacBook. I have like my booklets, my sketchbook. I got some candles, a couple wallflowers for when they need to be changed out. Um, and that right there is like my little, my little organizer. I have like my birth certificate in there. I have like my taxes in there. I have receipts for when I do returns because you know I'm the return queen. Cards in that box, like just a lot of personal stuff. Um, I got that from Home Goods too for like ten dollars. Now my husband got me this this first stoop from Target. It's so cute. Um, you've probably seen me sit here a lot when I do like unboxings or just when I'm talking to you guys. I've had this since I was living in Atlanta. Like I took this rug with me. I got this from Ikea for like $100. Over here I have like my sunglass cases, um, like little baggies that I use for when I travel. My little ring light bag. And I got my ring light guys. I got my ring light from Amazon for like $89. This is the one that does all the magic for me. $89 worth and it has it is like the gift that just keeps on giving it was well worth money spent okay I do all my videos with this one ring light this little table little side table from Ross now Ross shopping at Ross is like a hit or miss like you might find something in there you might not but I think I paid what $50 for this little thing and it goes look actually it goes with my little uh my um dessert tray they're pretty much like the same same style but yes, yeah, so I just wanted to put a couple perfumes there. Like it's like a little boutique-ish area. So here is like, like I made this area almost like a relaxation, like a relaxed type of, you know, chill vibe. magazines. And I saw this on Pinterest. Like somebody just like stacked all their magazines and kind of made it like a, almost like a side desk or something like beside their bed. But I just put it in front of my tree. And this, this uh, tree is from Target, it's a faux tree. And nobody told me about the bugs, okay? Nobody told me about the bugs and they the gnats were taking over this office. I had to throw that thing out. Like, if you, if you really do not need a real tree, please don't get one, okay? 
It's like taking care of a child. It's probably be, it's probably worse because it doesn't do anything. It doesn't move. Like you just have to water. You have to make sure it's fed. It's it's just too much. I couldn't do it. So the fake tree is for me. And this is my bar. Um, I've had maybe two drinks from this bar since it's been here. Um, I got this from Amazon as well. Um, I put it together myself. <laughs> And then I got this mirror from Target. Folds up, which is really cool. So like right here, like if I wanted to just take it with me, I can fold this up. Or if I just want to lean it on the wall, I can fold it up. So that's really cool. If you follow me on TikTok, um, if you, or if you don't follow me on TikTok, you might want to go follow me on TikTok. I did these myself. So this is basically my D DIY project. So I got these frames from Walmart for $12 each. Um, and then I just took these pictures out of a magazine and then these two, um, pictures I got from a company called Decino or something like that. But I, I really, I'm really upset that I bought something from them because this right here is trash. I could have did this myself, which is what I did. I ended up doing it myself. Are from Sears. A blackout curtains in the bedroom from Sears. Like Sears is really good. Like, you know how, you know how when your mom and your parents used to take you to Sears, you used to hate it. But now that I'm older, I really love Sears. Like you had questions about like what my hats are hanging up on. I've shown this in a vlog before. Do you see that? So that is really supposed to be for like a hook for your, uh, your keys. But I've been, I'm using it for my hats. So each hat is hanging up on one of those hooks. And I think I think I've touched on everything, um, but if I did not, make sure you leave me questions um, below in the description box. You know I you know I talk to y'all back. Y'all talk to me. I'll talk back. Okay. This clawfish has been building up since last year, so I will try to find everything that's still available. I'll link it below. Um, but if it's not, I'm sorry in advance. Um, oh yeah, and my outfit. I have on uh, the cropped brown Zara blazer. I have on a bodysuit from JLo Lux. And I got on some Zara jeans. And you already know, baby, I'm rocking my boat like a little. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, we finally did my coffee. I need a glass of wine. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go have me a glass of wine. I got to change my clothes. I'm about to put that outfit on. I told y'all I'm about to put this outfit on and go have me a glass of wine. Okay. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, um, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Okay. And I will see y'all on the next video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.